What's up guys? Today we are back. Back at it again. We're reacting to going camping at the end of the world. And the person that suggested it is right here. So thank you very much. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like as that's m most appreciated. And uh, click the link down below to join the Patreon. And let's go into the video. Um, that's quite Just nice. relax. Everything's totally serene. You're floating through a cloud. The sun is warm on your face. The end is nigh. A prophecy has been foretold. The rapture is coming. And we have the specific date. Soon the believers will rise and the impure will be left below. So repent, sinner. Repent! Get your affairs in order. Take your preparation H. That's preparation for heaven. Because the world will officially end on May 21st, 2011. Guys. All oh, right. Well, we're, we're we've still here. Outlived it. We've outlived the end of the world. I'm, I'm glad we're still here. Wait, what? May 21, there's going to be a terrific earthquake, way, way greater than anything that the earth has ever experienced, and that'll be the beginning of Judgment Day. That would have been scary if it would have happened, though. In late 2010, a campaign was launched to save some souls. They suited up, took to the streets. But it was more than just placards and flyers. Soon they were joined by a caravan of five RVs roaming the country, spreading the good word about the rapture. Thousands of people took it seriously. Many began selling their possessions. They were maxing out credit cards. That's crazy. Taking on debt. Even the news picked up on it. The end is near. Advertising was put on bus stops, in subways, a big expensive that billboard scary, was though. put up, then another, then another, then 5,000 more. In fact, this quickly became the most expensive single event advertising campaign ever, totaling over $100 million just to tell people about a rapture on May 21st, 2011. How the heck did this happen? Harold Camping. I feel like we're having a history lesson or something. So you know? who is this hardcore gangster rapturist? Harold Camping. Biggest figures in Christian media. He had a show, Open Forum, hosted by his company, Family Radio. In 2010, it was a media empire worth over $70 million. His message went out on over 200 radio stations across the United States and many more around the world. His listenership? Millions. And when he says the world will end, a decent-sized contingent believed it. Now, hold on. I can see the comments that are filling up with edgy atheists and skeptics already. Listen, at first I also didn't believe Mr. Camping. I get it. There have been many people to predict the Um, it's crazy the fact that everybody believes this guy and it just puts it in perspective that one voice can change a lot of people's opinions. But like we're having a history lesson, don't we? I don't know. Yeah, it's bringing back the trauma from its history class. <laughs> I'm sure before and get it wrong. But wait, give him a chance. I looked at all the scientific data I could find, like carbon-14 dating or potassium argon dating. Oh god, now it's going to this science. This time, it's different. Camping is coming at you with irrefutable evidence of the rapture because he's using math. This is not just a bit, this is actually how he calculated the rapture. So, Jesus died on April 1st, 33 AD. Now take the year 2011. That's a difference of 1,978. We times that by 365.2422. Fell out my mind should blow up. number of days it's been since that, including leap years. That equals 722,449. Now keep that number in mind. Keep it in your head. Atonement. Now that's five. Completeness. That's ten. 
Can I just say, did you remember that whole number? 755. Was it? I don't know. That's it. That's all I know. All I remember is 722. What was 722? 755. No, Liv, I think it was 722. 55, five, you'll literally see it in a sec. And heaven is 17. Now we times them all together and look at this. 850. Then we square that and that. 722. I've, I've seen the five and I thought, oh, 55. Five, five. That's 722,500, a difference of 51. 51 days plus April 1st, 2011 equals May 21st, 2011. You did it, Mr. Camping. You've cracked the code. And needless to say, his skeptics were left destroyed by facts and logic. Even the ones who pointed out that he predicted the rapture once before in 1994 in a Louis Thoreau documentary. Now, 1994 will be the last day of the final tribulation period. But shut up, shut up. He's got more to say than just the date. My boy is about to tell you how the whole thing is going to go down. So God's going to snatch up all the good boys, about 200 million of us. What the hell? Everyone else? Pets? Even the cute ones? Sorry, dudes. You're getting left Bombastic behind. Bombastic side-eye. At 6 p.m. exactly on Christmas Island, earthquakes are going to start doodling all over the place. I wonder if this actually happened, though, to be fair. Taking out almost everyone at exactly 6 p.m. according to their time zone. Those <laughs> you earthquakes did. will then trigger gigantic tsunamis, 10 kilometers tall, and go as far inland as Colorado. Every soul left behind will be forever down eventually to go straight down. I'm not laughing at what he's saying, I'm just laughing at the edits and the actual, well, noises he's making as he's doing it. Well, you can laugh at it because it didn't happen. Well, I don't know if it happened. Emily, if it happened, we'll be dead. No, I'm, no, I'm not on about that. I'm on about, you know, tsunamis and all that. And then Nothing that. happened. Because the not he's saying the tsunamis would have been big enough to kill us all and end the world. Are we dead? No. Yeah. We're breathing. We did. We're talking. We are successful with you guys. We're here. <laughs> We've not gone straight down to heck. We're here. No, I thought, I thought obviously I didn't want to slap it because I don't know if like tsunamis no. actually, actually happened. You know, yeah. Not, not to the extent tsunamis of killing Tsunamis do us. happen in the world. That's why I didn't want to laugh. Yeah, no, I'm getting that. Tsunamis isn't funny. No. But I'm laughing at the edits that he's doing. On to me. Now, let's not go lumping everyone in. Most Christian groups did not believe in Harold Camping's teachings. In fact, most Christian groups don't believe in predicting the rapture at all, and even consider it a sin. Matthew 24, 36 specifically says that no man can know the day or the hour. So to try and guess at it would be to go against scripture. Accordingly, Protestant and Catholic groups denounced Mr. Camping's claims. May 21st, he's a follower of Harold Camping. The scriptures do not teach that. No man knows the day or the hour. In fact, even Camping's own producer at Family Radio said it was a bad idea. But that didn't stop Mr. Camping. He saw the big churches as corrupt anyway. So he ignored them <laughs> and continued charging forward with his prediction. There's just no reason in the world, no possibility that it will not happen. Well, mate, so did his you're wrong. 97% of the people, God will destroy. It's crazy that people actually believed it. Do you think this thing is getting blown up too much in the media and elsewhere? Before we go on, two important details. Number one, Family Radio receives most of its funding through donations, bequeathments, ads, merchandise and sponsors, but mostly just donations. Two, Family Radio was established in 1959, Camping as the owner and CEO, but there are two other chairmen on board to keep him in check. Or at least there were. Unfortunately, in recent years, those other chairmen were getting quite old and sick and having a tougher and tougher time telling Camping no to poor decision making. So by 2010, Camping effectively had free reign over the company, free reign over its messaging, free reign over its audience and free reign <coughs> over the spending and he started spending like well 
like the world was going to end. The media soon picked up on the ubiquitous advertising, and the word spread further. This, in turn, encouraged more advertising, and in turn, more media interest, so things were snowballing. By early May, everyone was talking about the rapture. The search term, end of the world May 21st, was number two on Google search, followed by Harold Camping, May 21st Doomsday, and he basically May made himself rapture, famous just by saying one sentence. 10. The traffic online mm -hmm. was so substantial it even caused Family Radio's servers to crash. Soon, it became a bit of a meme. And the internet did what it does best. On May 19th, Operation Rapture was conceived. Okay, lads. We wake up early on May 21st and throw clothes into the street. It's going to look like a bunch of people were teleported to the afterlife. And hopefully, some of them are going to freak out. That was cool. Well, they had a pretty good turnout. But it doesn't seem like anyone fell for it. Disappointingly, it seems like no one showed up for the pre-rapture orgy organized on Facebook either. Although maybe that's because the location was a bit vague. But best of all was an event organized by the Phenomenauts. They got people together in the middle of town and filled a bunch of sex dolls with helium and attached them to balloons to transcend into the heavens. It was a beautiful moment and it made a lot of us reflect. I should have been a better person! <laughs> Yoink! People also tried to make <laughs> some cash favorite. off the situation. They offered to buy Camping's followers' stuff on Craigslist for pennies on the dollar. Offering to buy on Craigslist raptured people's possessions. There was also a famous eBay auction, $100,000 post-rapture insurance for only $19.99. What would you do if but the world was going to end? did do quite... As in, if the world was going to end. Well... They said that we, the, end, the world was going to end in 2012. At the time, I was only 15. But what would you do? I, I wanted to stay home and spend it the last day with my, my family. I'd just spend everything I, I had, to be honest with you. What do you say? I'd spend everything. To be fair, though, I'd rob stuff as well. So if the world was going to end, what are they going to do when we're all dead? Still arrest me? Yeah, but it been a bit awkward because obviously they were No, imagine end. if I robbed like the Apple store or something and, and then the world got, didn't end. Yeah. And then I would, <laughs> then I just stood there you. with a bunch of shit like, oh. <laughs> and all you hear is woo woo. I'd run, I'd skydive. It got to the point where it was a bit of a meme. When you go on the toilet, oh, that's your last poo ever. Yeah. Oh, I'd have, nice, I'd have nice grilled cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just live life. No, but to be fair, I can understand why they did believe it because, well, we believed it was going to end in 2012 and that If they said happened. it now, no one would believe it because we've got all the technology that can detect when bad things will happen. So... Do you think? Yeah. Well, what do you think? No. I don't think no one would believe it. Do you think no one would believe it, Mum? I think they would. I think they would as well. And because of social media, as we know, they put the fear into people, so of course people Actually, are going to... Actually, that's a lie, yeah. I mean, someone photoshopped saying. this picture that mini eggs are going to be discontinued in 2024, and I believed it, and I shed one tear. So yeah, if I can believe was... a false advertisement of mini eggs ending in 2024, then I'm probably going to believe that the world's going to end. No, but to be fair, though, what the actual thought? <laughs> it came up, and I was actually quite sad. Yeah, and so I realised, oh, it was really highly edited. No, but so. that's the problem. A lot of things is highly edited. Uh, oh, my God. Highly edited, as we know, and we have been the victims of actually believing in what the We're all said. idiots. We're yeah, all we are sometimes. We're all in the game. Yeah, we're just, like, literally a chess piece to people. We're bare stupid, oh, I can't lie. Anyway, before we get <laughs> on to everything else... No. ...and trying to fix the world... We need to restart that. All right, OK. Well, I guess we've got to stop it. Dog sit for those called up to heaven. Based around taking other people's pets in the event of a rapture. What is happening? And I believe they still operate today. So up next, we'll show you what happened on May 21st and what happened to all those people who truly believed. But first... My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my... Bad time. Oh. There. Hello, it's me. Oh my God, it's Jesus. What are you doing here? 
Well, <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that me and God have seen your Google search history and were very disappointed. Oh no! That's right, and now you're not getting into heaven, or the more exclusive version, Super Heaven, which features a delicious seafood buffet. Oh no! <laughs> what is happening? Yup. Oh, how I wish I had taken the time to hide my internet viewing habits. Well, you didn't, and now you're doomed five ever. Five ever? <laughs> Hold on. Has this? Do you know why I just said that? I would probably believe that the that, world would end. Yeah. And right. I had that slight little thought in my head. But what if my search history makes me go to hell? See? The brain washes you. I that's don't just think. The facts. I don't think. My search history isn't bad, but that's just the facts. You just made yourself right, so then you know. No, no, is in because God was saying that to him, and the search history wasn't even bad. You're not going to heaven because your search history is bad. Oh, super heaven. I just had that little thought in my head, like, oh shit, what if it's true? See. Everyone See? delete what you what you watching. We're all stupid. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, editing is like top notch. It's actually really good. Ever happened to you? Go to nordvpn.com slash internet story oh God. to keep your website traffic I anonymous. All looks wholesome to me. I thought I was a turtle. Plus, it also so gives you region unlocking. Oh, hey, look. It's the UK's exclusive channels. And you didn't even pay a telly license. Oi, oi, stop that. That'll be £52.9 thruppence. Too late, copper. I've brexited to Australia now, a place where no law can touch me. How much would you pay for this service? A billion dollars? Literally gazillions? Not today. Get 75% off three-year plan at nordvpn.com slash internethistorian and use code internethistorian to get a free extra month, which includes unlimited data, ultra-fast speeds, region unlocking in all these places, also a map of the world which is useful for things such as geography. Wow, that's so good, I might even get code internet historian NordVPN myself. Yes, Jesus, I think that would be a good idea. Ha 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 Add over. Before we go on with Mr. Camping, I want to point out two other predictions. In 1806, Mary Bateman also predicted Doomsday. Through a chicken, it was dubbed the Ooh. prophet hen of Leeds because it started laying eggs with the message Christ is coming marked onto them. Amazing. Tell me you're joking about telling and it me you're joking. Appeared legit. Locals saw the hen lay eggs with the message <laughs> already written onto them. Can't fake that. Oh my God, people said, and many more flocked to the area to pray. Well, on inspection of the eggs. It Can I just say, imagine if we were actually praying to our chickens about what are you doing? Mom, in 1806 in Leeds, this chicken supposedly laid an egg saying Christ is coming. <laughs> and everyone started praying to the chicken. Mom, imagine if we started praying to ours and peck us and go, what are you doing? I'm like, Meow. They wouldn't run off. Like, bitch, fuck off. Oh my God. As if, no, just, no, I'm just getting stupid. Christ I know, I know we're thick, I know we're gullible, yeah. but Jesus Christ, this is just taking it to a whole new level. We soon figured out what was going on. Mary Bateman had used a corrosive substance to etch into the egg, and then, a couple of minutes before everyone would gather around... So it didn't happen? God! Yeah! Uh, what the actual fault, though? ...to watch the chicken lay, Mary would... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> come on, come on, man. <laughs> What the hell? Mum, it would shove it would shove it back up there to lay it. <laughs> she would etch the Christ coming and she So it was laying to it would push that one out and then lay it out of the way. And then there's this clip of going God going <laughs> <laughs> That's animal abuse. And that's God abuse. <laughs> What the Alco, actual... I'm going to kill you. I'm not laughing at what happened to the chicken. I'm laughing at God doing hee hee. That poor chicken. What the actual fuck is going through that, that woman's chicken. mind? Right, guys, this time, if you hear noise, it generally is 
next, next door. door it's not my is. brother. He ain't going to come down and go, hi. No, it's actually next door. So let's just ignore it. It's not funny. She was an interesting character, though. Claimed to be a witch. Poisoned a couple that same year with a deadly pudding. She was later tried and hanged in No, don't pause it. Just keep it going. Just Strips of skin from her corpse were tanned and sold as magic charms to ward off evil spirits. What the fuck am I reading? <laughs> What also, are we watching? 2012. Remember that one? Yeah. It's December 21st. That's what I was on about. Marks the end of the world. Well, we came because it's the end of the world tomorrow, and we thought we'd better pop in here because apparently <laughs> he looks way excited. With That's my like dude. Those, you would hope they'd be the first to go come the. And he'll be saved. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get on with it. Let's take a closer look at some of the people who followed camping. Take Robert Fitzpatrick, 60, former government employee. I had right plans first. after I retired, but uh, I put well, them all aside. I, I feel as if I've been drafted. He took almost all of his life savings, $140,000, to have 3,000 posters put up in New York City subways and bus stops. Wow, well, a lot of I'm money. I'm down to my last penny, but, you know, it's a good chunk of what I had saved up, sure. Does it matter if you're down to your last penny, if the doomsday is coming? No, it doesn't. That's kind of sad, you know. One. And it never According happened. According to the LA Times, the Bauer family hopped in their minivan and drove across the country to see all of the big landmarks before it was too late, racking up thousands of dollars in credit card debt in the process. They really believed they were going to die. Which is See, that's what I still. said. The I'd Rambler be doing family. that, and I'd realize, oh shit, quit nothing his happened. Job. So did his mum. His younger brother quit high school, Jeez. and his wife Marcia thought she was never going to meet her unborn child. That's sad. Some of these people's lives got pretty fucked up. The day is here. It's rapture time. Here we go. Oh, Lord, I'm ready. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a rapture. Watch me, guys. Mr. Camping spent the day at home in quiet solace and contemplation, waiting for 6 p.m. But that's not what Mr. Fitzpatrick did. A confident Fitzpatrick marched into the middle of Times Square amongst a crowd of mocking bystanders, ready to prove everyone wrong. In three minutes, if it does not happen, what will that mean? I wouldn't entertain that question. You're confident. That's really sad he actually believed it. And he wasted all his money. I feel sorry for him. Three, two... And I bet everyone's expecting to go... Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Nothing happened. And then 601. 602. And by 603, Fitzpatrick's convictions turned to confusion. That was just pissing me off. And it's pretty hard to feel sorry for him. I actually feel sorry for him. I didn't want my plan. I didn't do the dishes. I did have my last shit. <laughs> I didn't do the dishes before I left. I didn't expect to be going back home. But it looks like I will be going back home. But look, just so we're clear, we're all still alive and the rapture didn't happen. <laughs> Camping was not in the same oh. celebratory mood. I'm ready to shoot myself oh. or go on a booze trip. The next day was a Sunday. People were crushed, confused, looking for answers. They showed up at Camping's church expecting to see him, but someone else was holding the congregation. Instead, Camping spent the day hauled up in his house. Give me a day. No, no interviews at all today. To be fair, to, it would be today, quite embarrassed, wouldn't you? Uh, your prediction. I would shoot yeah. myself. At stream? You said it first. <laughs> stream? <laughs> you said it first. I'm ready to shoot myself. <laughs> Yeah, same babe. Where we do over, and that's all I can say right now. On Monday, he appeared on his program. But this time, no open forum. But what he did have was a whole bunch of rationalizations. Can I just say, fact, was he the first who did this then? boy was doubling down with another Literally. prediction. Literally, oh God. Oh, October 21st, 2011. And uh, this is it. Uh, it, it. And it will continue right up until... I feel like he's just trying to do it to get money. Just, just, yeah, flatter. And uh, at that time, the whole world will be destroyed. 
Now, now I know what yeah. you're going to say, and okay, maybe he got it slightly wrong, but this time he has irrefutable proof of the rapture. Using math. Again. Not, yeah, I was about to say not going. Zoo camping took May 21st. Then he looked in the book of John, which states they caught 153 fish. So, at 153 I mean, his, his maths is on point. To May 21st. But for the wrong reasons. The rapture, October 20th. This is ridiculous. The to clarify, I'm still alive. <laughs> so this is pathetic. How can you argue? It's flawless. Yes, Mr. Camping. Add the fish number. You've got it this time. On Tuesday, he opened the phones on his radio show. And it was the first time that his show was ever exciting to watch. Uh, why didn't the rapture happen on May 21st? Don't cut me off yet. And why do you believe so much on it's going to happen another five months? You're, you're really pathetic. You know, I wasted all my money and I sent it to you and I, and I don't have nothing. I was putting my hopes in you. You understand? I, I wish I could see you face to face. I'd smack you right in the... <laughs> what say you now? Calling names doesn't help anything. After that, viewership steadily declined. Now, oh after his prediction for October 21st, the media asked him... Am I on cocaine? No, they asked him... Will you dissolve the company in October? His response? I am not the CEO. I'm a servant of God working here. And God is the CEO. We look to him all the time. He has a thousand ways of getting me out of here. We have to leave that question with the Lord, not with you or with me. That's not our business. That's God's business. And how prescient. Because two weeks later, he had a stroke. I do hope he gets the message. But he didn't. A month later, he was back to doing his show. And he pressed on with his new prediction. By October 16th, oh though, God. he came to his senses. He admitted that no man could know exactly when the rapture would happen, and made a statement when October 21st came and went. Finally, on November 1st, he retired from his leadership position at Family Radio. Just under two years later, he was dead. The result of oh. complications from a fall at his home. It, w it wasn't me, it was him. Look at him. Get him. <laughs> what is happening? But look, I don't want to be too harsh. He was a flawed man. He messed up some people's lives. But in the end, he confessed his mistakes too. I was totally convinced, totally convicted of it. But I was wrong. I was wrong. I have sinned. I think he truly believed the rapture was coming. This wasn't one big grift. And everyone just kind of got swept up in the excitement. Why is the Minecraft all. music? So let's put a bow on it with what <laughs> happened to Family Radio. During the Rapture campaign, Family Radio raised a lot of money, but not as much as they spent. As well as draining their funds, they sold off important radio stations to pay for a lot of the advertising. In the process, they greatly tarnished their reputation. They were bringing in scores of millions in revenue in 2011, but by 2012, it was down to single-digit millions. Now, this is still a substantial amount, but not when you consider their operating costs were $26 Jeez. million dollars per year. And they <coughs> couldn't rely on donations to make up the windfall because goodwill had dried up. Now, with fewer radio stations in a shrinking reach, they moved to distance themselves from camping and his baggage. Shows from mainstream Christian groups that Harold pronounced as corrupt were brought into the programming schedule. They announced they would no longer air the teachings of Mr. Camping. And finally, I mean, to be fair, on their website, kind of said that that happened they removed to him. the archives of Mr. Camping's audio recordings. Okay, I've kind of bummed everyone out, but that's the end of the story. I've got nothing else to say. So here's a whole bunch of weird Baroque and Renaissance paintings. Help me. Mom warning me not to fill up before dinner. Me. Well, time to breastfeed again. Put me down. I'm 45 years old. 
That's good. That's all looking good. God damn it. You're not supposed to look straight at the camera. Hey, did you pay for that cross? Yes. Here, have another bloody me. Yeah, this is Joseph's kid. Craig. What is happening? He likes grapes. It's true. I, I do. I do. Wait, there's a mosquito. Thanks. My new son. He is so beautiful. Also, previous video. Jeff the Killer, Sonic High School next week. NordVPN. But what I can say is, I actually feel sorry for that old man and I actually believed in his own stuff. There's many people out there now. Many people, not old people. That, that do actually do do that, that yeah. that believe like that. Yeah, um, yeah, they do. But clearly they're not obviously big enough to make that whole statement and make the world turn and go crazy. Uh, what I will say is, disclaimer, I'm not laughing at anything that's been said physically. I'm just laughing at the edits that he's done. Just want to put it out there. Also, uh, his edits are right on point and his voiceovers are actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've had a history lesson. Thank you, Arco. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Remember to check out our Patreon in the description below and that we're going live now. So make sure you turn your notifications on and also thank you to this person for uh, being a patron and make sure you put your suggestions down below and see you guys